guys, it's me, Halloween Dan, and today I'm doing a really quick little video because I've been shopping again, guys. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. That's right, it's that time of year where I actually do go shopping. I don't go shopping any other time of the year. My wife hates taking me places because I'm like a kid who's like, do we really have to be here? I'm tired and my knee hurts. My legs are tired. But then Halloween arrives and I'm like, let's go shopping, everyone. And everyone else is like, oh, for more Halloween stuff. Uh, of course. I've been to two stores this very morn. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I have been shopping this morning to two different stores. I only got one thing from one place and I got four things from another. They're all pretty cool in their own way though. So join me while we have a little look at these cool props from Morrison's, literally one thing, and from Asda. Let's do this. So this is a mini haul video again, mini, because I've not got a huge amount of stuff here. They're just pretty cool things. And we're gonna start with the one item I picked up from Morrison's. Morrison's this year has, I'm gonna say, been a slight letdown, at least the Morrison's that are close to me. In past years, Morrison's has always been that store that's been kind of like, wow, surprise. Surprise, surprise. We've actually got some good stuff and I've enjoyed what they've brought to the table. This year the store I went to was lacking. I didn't see anything I hadn't seen in past seasons, at least the last two. They did have the girl with the spinning head but they only had one on the shelf and she was broken so I didn't buy it. Which was sad, I was quite sad about that but there was a load of other, you know, the usual sorts of party things and decorations and stuff and some cool skulls and skeletalized animals and all that kind of stuff which is fine, but not my vibe. And then I laid eyes upon something that actually I saw last year and quite fancied. And it is this, a tombstone. But this isn't just any ordinary tombstone. This is the animated tombstone. It was 18 pounds from Morrison's. Not gonna lie, as to do a version, sort of, of this, slightly better. I'll show you this guy's function and then describe why. Okay, not right now. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? So it's pretty fun, it's pretty cool. The Asda version, instead of having a guy popping up out of the top of the tombstone, has a head that kind of lunges forward and he's like, hey, what are you doing? And all that kind of stuff. I actually got a Reaper that had the exact same motion. And the reason I preferred this guy over that one, even though they're exactly the same price and kind of doing the same thing, is because I, my reaper who goes, hey, what what you doing? Believe it or not, that's a really good impression. He broke really quick. When I saw this, I was like, which one should I buy? They're both the same price. And I chose to go for the Morrison version thinking, you know, I think I prefer a guy popping out of the tombstone rather than popping forward out of the tombstone. I don't know. What I also quite like about this is, well, it's quite solid. It's quite solid plastic. The front here lights up. There's lights flickering in the front. And when this guy bobs his head back down beneath the tombstone, because his eyes light up red, there's like a crack that runs down the center of the tombstone here. And you can see that red flashing light through the crack. 
I think that's little simple things like that make things like this kind of more cool than you might otherwise think they were. So that's my one thing from Morrison's. Now we move on to Asda. And Asda, I have to say, I think this year, particularly in the smaller end items, has absolutely killed it. You're killing it! Last year, Asda really did really well with some of the bigger items. And in particular, I've mentioned several times, the butler skeleton guy holding a lantern with a dog. Very, very cool. This year, of course, they didn't have not brought out quite as big or as an impressive prop. They brought out the zombie for 50 pounds, which I snapped up as soon as I could. I actually really like him secretly. I think he's, he's one of my favorites, even though he's a Sunstar prop. And then they also brought out the dancing witch, which I also bought for 35 pounds. She'll go really well with the rest of the things in my horn. And it's then this smaller scale, this smaller category that I think Asda are absolutely blowing the lid off it this year. Cards down on the table. I visited this Asda on Sunday, the Sunday just gone, and they were only just putting this stuff out on the shelf. Yeah, very late Asda. Asda, why do you do that? It's like nearly October, man. Everyone else has had their stuff out since like July. Come on, get with it. <laughs> but I knew I was off today on Wednesday, so I thought I'll fly down to Asda and see what I can pick up. And I was not disappointed. They had a great array of smaller end things, some pretty cool things, some little animatronics too. And I did a little video, I'll be showing it round about now. They had a great lineup of decorations. They had this three headed dog that barks. They had some skeletons, of course, some ghosts and things like that. None of which I particularly needed, but some really cool stuff. One thing I didn't buy, but I thought was really cool. They had like these two skeletons holding a tombstone who when you press, they obviously walked along the floor. I don't really know what their purpose is or how you would use that, but it's a fun little party piece. I did enjoy that, I have to say. <laughs> But although I didn't come away with that, I did come away with some other cool items. So we're gonna start off small and build. So the smallest, most basic thing I bought were these candles. I really like the way these look. They're just Halloween candles. These were six pound. And as you might have guessed, they light up. I just thought they looked really cool. I think they'll look really good with either my witches or possibly in my castle. I've not yet decided, but this is just, Really just a decoration, but a, a cool looking decoration, right? It's, it's again, it's quite solid. This isn't plastic or anything. I'd say it was more like a resin. So yeah, very, very cool. The only downside is that the flames are not flicker flame. They're not flickering or anything. They're just lit. But you know what? I can, I can live with that. The next item I bought, again, kind of with my witches in mind, was this. I've seen these a few times. These have been online pretty since the very start of the season, more or less. It's a witch's potion bottle. It's a very, very cool thing. It was £12, petrifying potion light. There's a green one and a purple one. I myself was more drawn to the purple one and it lights up. Now you can't really see it or tell in this light, but can you see just about make out there's like a kind of a shimmering sort of mist. It kind of looks like the mist that's in my globe back here. So I'll switch it on and see if you can see it a bit better. So there it is lit. There you go. You can just about see it all swirling, the potion sort of swirling around. I think that's really neat. I think that looks really cool. It's well detailed as well. It's like got this really well detailed sort of plinth at the bottom. You've clearly got a sticker on the front that says Witch's Brew. It's quite a big bottle as well. And it's got this cool looking skull on the top. Possibly it could do with a little bit more aging and a bit sort of look a bit more weather beaten. But you know what? It, it'll look really good with my witches, I think. So yeah, another nice little decoration piece. Then I saw this. Now that's impressive. I haven't seen this anywhere. I've not seen anyone talking about this. I'm not even sure if this was available last year and I just missed it. Somebody tell me if it was available last year and I missed it, I'm not sure. But this was 20 pounds. It's called the Petrifying Pumpkin and there are two versions of it. There is an orange version and then there's this sort of greeny gray version. And I went for that because I've got orange pumpkins. I've got lots of orange pumpkins. So I thought this was something a little bit different. And this as well, quite cool, is not only a light up jack-o'-lantern, but it also has a light and sound feature. So I'll, first of all, I'll show you it lit. So there we go, exactly what I love in these things. You've got a really cool 
flicker flame effect and that would look really good just on its own you know you don't need anything else if you don't want to it's a really quite bright flicker flame effect you can see the flame flickering inside so that's really really cool but what i also like is that it does have the option for sound so let's hear what it sounds like impressive i don't know how well that picked up but it is actually really cool it's saying oh it's that dreadful time of year again it's halloween and then some creepy voices start going Happy halloween. So, but <laughs> it's pretty cool i really do like it i think it looks really good it was 20 pound it was one of the more expensive things on the shelf but i really did like the look of this so i thought yeah that'll go down you can't go wrong with pumpkins ever you could you could have more i could have an entire haunt filled with pumpkins and it would still be the most awesome thing ever and this is just something a little bit different with a light up feature and some sounds so that was really cool so go to your local asda because i haven't seen this on the website and then there's one more thing i decided to buy now there have been a few kooky sort of weird items this year we've had like asda brought out an animated hamburger which a lot of people have been quite impressed with but i was like why i don't know why we need an animated gross hamburger but okay that's fine if you enjoy that there's been the dancing witch which i really enjoy but some people have been like why is she dancing maybe if she hadn't been dancing she'd have sold a little better there's been some weird and wonderful things this year and i think this next thing i bought is one of them but i like it and it's this guy so it doesn't say it but something tells me that this could potentially be from pan asian creations as well which is very cool if it is and I looked at this, I've seen this on the website for a while now, been sort of like on the fence about whether I liked it or not. It is actually quite impressive. I mean, it is a big thing. You can see it's quite large. And you've, so you've got this cool little pumpkin guy standing on his stalky legs. The details on this are pretty impressive. He's got a great looking face and he's got these creepy little eye arms with viney hands that are kind of holding onto his head. And I'm pretty sure you can probably guess what he does. But I'll press this demo switch and we'll see. So he's got about four different phrases, each one where he's kind of just gargling and making weird noises and then he'll say something like trick or treat or spooky or I'm going to get you on stuff. He's got quite a lot of action. He's lifting his head up and down, clearly with the sort of fibres in the middle that are lit up. His eyes are lit up red. It's all kind of lit very well. And it does, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very cool. It reminded me a bit of Gordo from last year, except obviously Gordo was a scare prop but it has that kind of vibe it's got that material inside that's supposed to look like pumpkin flesh i just thought it was really fun and for 25 pounds i thought not a bad thing it's quite big it's quite impressive it's a lot of fun and i think a lot of people will get a bit of a kick out of that ah! do not put your fingers in the mouth of a pumpkin anyway guys that is all for today i have got lots of other things to do lots of other things to make videos about in the coming days some of which are quite exciting so please stay tuned we're reaching it now guys it's the last week of september october is around the corner we are nearly in spooky season i have got so much to do and it feels like a less and less time in which to do it but we're getting there we're heading in the right direction and these cool kooky little props are getting me in the mood so thank you for watching today, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.